Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Physio. In this module, I want to show you how you can use the Synchronize tool on the timeline. So first of all, let's create a timeline. I'll just create a simple cylindrical timeline. And just let it do the default settings, which is about six months. Click OK. Add a few features to it, like I like the um, end arrowhead and the today marker and also the elapsed time marker so elapsed time let's just put that on there so it gives you that and then today marker just drop that on there and it'll just snap into position so those are the things that you can put on very quickly now in terms of a milestone let's put a pin milestone um, let's put it there so the date you can adjust and I'm just going to call that end of phase end of phase and then that will go there and then I'm going to put a block interval and that will be just phase one so I'll call this phase one okay and then I'm going to let that sit there so that's that's the two things I want to use to synchronize now there is a feature where you can expand the timeline so if I click on this expand timeline now it goes for this sort of August to January. If I bring January back in quite a bit to, say, October, end of October, 1st of November will do. In fact, I'll go for the 8th of November to give it, get it a bit past there. So click OK to that. And then you can see straight away it's it synchronised these things on there. So there's the phase one, there's the phase one, um, end of phase milestone. And again, if you can, you can right click and add the arrowhead on there the end now if I do another timeline a manual timeline so it's not going to be a, it's a second timeline and let's just this of this um, again to the 1st of November 1st of November okay now I want to use the synchronized tool this one milestone and the synchronized interval tool so when you bring in a block interval, let's just bring that on the screen. Now, I'm just going to cancel that off so it's it's not actually synchronized to anything. And then if I click on synchronize, it'll come up with this as an option because it can see that. I'm just going to click OK. And then it's changed it from a block into a sort of bracket. But it's still synchronized to phase one you can see phase one written there in the timeline and there it is there now if i do the same for a milestone marker so i'll go for a pin milestone drop it there cancel that off it just sits there but then if i synchronize the milestone on the pin any milestones that you can see will come up there if there's more than one you can select them click ok and then it moves into position so these two are now synchronized with that one Now, if I change, so let's have to change this block interval. So I'll go on to configure. So at the minute, it's on the 16th. And these two are synchronized to it. So it did it that one automatically when I included the um, expanded timeline. This one I've done manually, still on 16th. But I put this onto the 1st of September. OK. It still moves. They both moved. All three have moved. And if I do that for the milestone, if I go... Let's change this milestone first off. So if I go on the milestone configure and let's push that forward. So at the minute it's on the 25th of October. Let's put it to the 3rd of November. OK. So it's off the page nearly there. But it's done it on all of these, 3rd of November. 3rd of November. Now if I don't want this to be a bracket like it is, because these are all obviously block intervals. If I right click on that, I can change interval type and put it to a block like so and you can also if I right click on this one at the top you've got percentage complete options so I can go in there and let's put 50% on there so it's going to show that as 50% complete now to see that I need to go onto task panes and get the shape data window up and then you can see that information there on this each one of these timeline information is there if you click on any of these other things you'll get whatever shape data is available for that item. So 50% complete. So if you leave that on all the time, you can just update it from there. 
So that's just a very quick video of how you can use the synchronized feature, synchronized interval and synchronized milestone if you create your own timeline. So hopefully that video was of use. Thank you for your time and I'll catch you in the next one.